Welcome to the hardest challenge in RuneScape, Nightmare Mode. I have one HP, and if I take damage at any point, my account gets deleted. And the first 108 did. My goal is split up into three phases, and phase one is the world's first ever fire cape without ever taking damage. I can't believe we are where we are. We took an absurd amount of risks to get here. The last 30 hours of this account's life have been so stressful. Stressful to degrees I didn't think I could experience on this game. But simultaneously, if there was ever a nightmare mode god run, this is it. On screen now is the list of rare items and upgrades we've been able to collect in 110 hours of survival. Not a single point of damage taken. I'm so insanely invested in this account's future now, and it's time to continue climbing that hill. Everything now is going to lead to phase one, getting that fire cape on a damageless account. Good morning. I just woke up from the best night's sleep I've gotten in probably a week. Uh, the crossbow was not a dream. I checked the bank earlier and then I came here to liquidate these bows. I have 35k now. That should be enough. We spent like over 300k on escape crystals. So we'd be way better off right now normally, but uh, it could be worse, it could be worse. As much as I want to take a relaxing day off chopping trees or something and just enjoy the view I grinded for, I can do Slayer without regret now. I didn't want to invest too much time in it while the future was so uncertain on this account with Crazy Archaeologist, but we are about to dive into the world of Slayer Unlocks. And it's gonna be the most consistently scary thing on this account for a while. It may sound like nothing, but I need to get 55 Slayer without ever letting my prayer drop or glancing away or screwing up a safe spot. There's so many things that can go wrong and they only have to go wrong one time to end the account. I'll have to be locked in for this entire grind and I can't ever get complacent, but the rewards from Slayer are extremely worth it. And this is how we're starting. But first, empty, desolate, bare. Just a few words that describe this room. And thankfully we have today's sponsor Displate to change everything. Displates are metal posters that have perfected the formula for amazing print quality while simultaneously completely eliminating the hassles of hanging your poster. We have magnets. Look at this. Get that poster up in 20 seconds. I just moved into a new apartment recently and my walls were looking a little bare. So naturally I went to Displate's website and got some timeless, beautiful pieces to bring some life to these walls. And guess what? I hung them both up in less than a minute and I guarantee you, you can find something that speaks to your soul on display. There are 2 million artworks to choose from, so many of your favorite games and movies and shows, including good old old school RuneScape, and these will arrive at your doorstep in four to five days. And boy, have I got the deal for you. You can go to display.com slash settled or use code settled to get access to a beautiful promo that gets you up to 35% off your displays. Don't be this guy. These, these walls are... They're lifeless, okay? There's something for everyone. Go click it. You won't be disappointed. And now back to nightmare mode. I was so worried about this account not surviving the wilderness that I never did the museum mini quest for the free Slayer and Hunter XP. Honestly, even though Slayer is a big priority right now, it's just one of many things I need to do over the next few weeks. Hunter is also a big one on the to-do list. So we're gonna get a nice start here. 22 Slayer and nine hunter uh, as well. What can I say? Great minds think alike. Look at us. As much as I want to use the rune crossbow right now, we're still six range levels away from even touching it. So that's obviously a big goal while training Slayer is to get that unlocked. We are back in the swamp dungeon. Need to avoid the wall beast. So here's the deal. I have a cave slime task to start off the Slayer journey. Thankfully only 18 of these guys, but I need to keep a close eye on my prayer here. Also cave slimes are poisonous. So I'm going to be preemptively drinking these anti poisons. I don't even want to risk having to cure poison. I just want to be immune at all times. And a regular anti-poison gives you about 90 seconds of immunity. I also don't want to go too far east because I have an open light source right now and it will blow up if I go too far east. And I have to keep track of my poison and I have to keep track of my prayer. So I just have to stay locked in for this. We're probably going to have to do multiple trips. Okay, one prayer point. We're going to teleport out a little too risky. This is a prime example though of how slow Slayer is gonna be on here. Every task, I'm just gonna have to teleport out if I lose prayer. Okay, getting a little sketchy. I didn't even wanna wait till one prayer point left. This might be the longest cave slime task anyone has ever done, needing to teleport out multiple times. 23 Slayer and an uncut diamond drop. I didn't even know these could drop uncut diamonds. That's probably rare drop table. Didn't blow up, didn't die to poison, didn't drop the prayer. Task completed. We did get 23 Slayer from that task. Still a lot of work to do. We can move up to some better Slayer tasks after today. Uh, I'm going to get one more task from Terrail here. 24 cows. Beautiful. Okay. 
Once we do move up a Slayer Master, we're kind of going to be at the mercy of luck though, because we're trying to build up Slayer points so we can access a ton of cool rewards. But if we were to get something like an Earth Warrior's task, that would be devastating. That would suck. In the meantime, I think it's time I start to lay a foundation for the mid game. Also, my combat level is high enough that nothing in Lumberge and Drainer can hit me anymore. Even this guy, he's, he's too afraid of me at this point. It's fine. I keep the prayer above my head because I'm a paranoid man on this game mode, but I know that I am fully safe in these zones now. Also, when I said lay a foundation for the mid game, I meant to lay the seeds of the future. And by that, I mean, I'm literally going to get seeds and plant them so I can be happy in the future. I need to get 38 herb lore, and I don't really have a great way of getting consistent seeds because I can't ever pickpocket master farmers, but I'll need to work on farming to get my herb lore up in the future. I just love chill activities on this account. I appreciate feeling safe on here so much. I can't wait to plant these seeds. Nightmare mode gives you dopamine by stressing you out so much that the most basic things are suddenly your safe haven like buying gardening trowels or subscribing to the settled channel you guys really thought i couldn't do it to farming we need a ton of pineapples to make this work gonna stock up on super compost once we get everything rolling it'll be a super passive little farming trip every 80 minutes seven farming they said i couldn't do it cabbage seeds unlocked guys okay so with farming officially started it's time we revisit something that can make my life a lot easier you may remember our good friend the bone crossbow this would be such a huge upgrade for the rest of slayer until i get the range level and reliable bolts for the rune crossbow this thing is gonna carry which means it's time to complete lost tribe only requirement remaining is goblin diplomacy which is super quick let's go get that done got the dyes made for the quest you can find all three goblin males you need for this quest around the village by the way in case you didn't know goblin diplomacy completed 30 quest points on my little nightmare iron man account getting close to entering the champions guild it is lost tribe time there's one really really dumb way i can take damage during this quest but as long as i avoid that we're gonna be happy okay the tunnels of doom have been unlocked as long as i always have a light source down here we're chilling that's not the dumb way to die i was talking about though let's unlock this passageway for the future very crucial that we learn this okay this is basically the only risky part of the quest the only way i take damage down here is if i take the wrong path i'll fall down into the swamp dungeon my light source gets turned off we want to avoid that at all costs essentially i'm just going to be triple checking that i'm going down the correct path at all times the mini map is the safest way to traverse down here Okay, nice. We made it. We never have to do that again. Now we can do it without risk because I could just be escorted from one side to the other. So beautiful. Whoa, we found the stolen silverware. What was this doing here, guys? I'm so glad this quest is completable without taking damage. When I first started this account, I didn't think it would be, but that is Lost Tribe done. 22 mining, nice little boost off the bat and more importantly, Bone Crossbow now unlocked, our best weapon until we get our Rune Crossbow rolling. I have absolutely no use for a Ring of Life, so turning this into money as soon as I get a chance. It feels good to have a Bone Crossbow on here, literally like a 30% DPS increase with cheaper ammo too. I'm gonna buy as many bolts as I can here. Gonna leave myself a little bit of money, but we got a solid amount of bolts, 7,600 for our brand new crossbow. Look at this beautiful, handsome man ready to do slayer and never take damage i would never take damage i just wouldn't 56 range five levels away uh from our prized rune crossbow doing my little cow slayer task hey where did that clip go okay big big news i just got assigned 95 cow fights i've never been happier to get a cow fight task oh my god do you guys realize what this means if i do this entire task at cal fight guardians not only can we get a ton of amazing drops but that's 16,000 slayer xp from one task as long as i don't mess up the safe spot 95 times i should really work on getting an accumulator because the amount of bolts i will save over the long run is insane and i absolutely want one for the fire cape i only need two more quests to start animal magnetism. And from the research I've done, it should be completely doable. Before we do that big cow fight task, I'm gonna do the first prerequisite quest because I've been doing a bunch of research in this area recently. 
There are a lot of dead trees in this area, and some of them can do damage to you. We're gonna have to get up close and personal with one of them in animal magnetism, but for now, take a look at this tile. It does exactly what I labeled it as. As long as your run energy is on, you run to the door without ever getting tagged by a tree from this tile. Just an extra bit of paranoia protection. Now we can complete Ernest the Chicken in peace. Despite saying that, I proceeded to run through the entire manor and outside with Prey Melee on the entire time, knowing nothing could hit me anyway. I feel like this game mode has just permanently made me a paranoid player. I don't think I'll ever recover. I love the gear I have. My prayer lasted this entire quest. Ernest the Chicken completed 35 quest points. It's almost time to unlock Mauritania, which, man, there are a lot of puzzles to solve in that region for this account. I can't wait to show you guys. But there's one main reason I can't do Priest in Peril just yet, and that's my combat level. During the quest, you have to go to this church, and inside there are level 30 monks of Zamorak that can attack with two different combat styles, melee and magic. Which means prayer isn't a foolproof plan, but at 61 combat, they'll be unaggressive. I can walk in, I can use a stair flinch to make this risk free, so it would be a good time to do this cal fight task and get a bunch of combat levels during it so I can do this quest. Okay, so before we get to our Calphite task, I've just spent the last couple of hours making a bunch of maple longbows. I'm gonna need some money for this task, and I'll explain why in a sec. I'm just gonna collect the rest of this bowstring and make a bunch of bows. Cinematography can just be so beautiful sometimes, man. Why is there a gang here? There's not a single soul in this area. I don't know why they're spawning here, but I'm so sketched out. I'm gonna hop worlds. I don't know if they can be aggressive or not. This will probably be the last set of bows I make for a little bit. I should get around 100k cash, which will hold me over for a while with Slayer. So I I mean, as much as I enjoy chopping my trees and fletching my bows, it's so relaxing to me. Uh, I think this might be the last time for a little bit. What a haul, almost 130k cash from selling all the bows. Okay, it's time to explain why I needed all this money. Two reasons, Calfi Guardians have such a high defense level that the bone crossbow is just not good. A simple fire strike strike is better. Also, range levels don't affect my combat level right now, which is mainly what I need to unlock Mauritania, so I'm still magic based on this account. The task will go by faster, we'll get our combat levels, and we'll get our magic up. Really not a downside of doing this. Okay, we are suited up and ready to enter the desert. We have Prey Melee for this camel now. His future is not looking too bright. I don't think he'll get his chance anymore. I basically have to stay locked in for the next five hours. Uh, the last time I did this task, I did not have protect from melee though. That is a really nice layer of protection. I'll probably just flick it on during the lure and then turn it off right after it's confirmed. Even if I have to go recharge my prayer like one or two times during this task, I think it's worth it just to be safe rather than sorry. There's not a whole lot to say about cal fights. We know how this works at this point. The only real risk is messing up a lore, but over the next several hours, I'm happy to say that did not happen. All right, 64 magic, that puts us up to 60 combat, one more to go. I also got so many amazing drops during this task. Over 80K worth of alkables while training up these stats and getting combat levels. What a huge win. What the? 100 silver ore? I mean, that could actually be pretty good. It's such an unusual drop. It's rare drop table, but uh, it could actually be really good for me. My inventory is so full. Well, we got it done in one single Slayer task. That's 65 magic, and we get 61 combat from that. So Mauritania is officially on the table. I have gone from 23 Slayer all the way to 35 from this. Favorite task right now on this account. I hope I can get it again at some point because... The amount of XP without really needing to leave is so good. Okay, I had to get it done across two days because I started getting really tired last night and uh, that's my main rule on this account. I wanna keep it alive as long as possible. If I get tired, I get off, uh, so I don't get to play as long per day, but at least the account is safe. Calphite Tusk done. 35 Slayer is a massive jump, which is sick. It's almost time for Priest in Peril, but I do wanna see what my next task is. Cave Crawlers is fine uh very poisonous but they are safe spotable i'm just gonna need a lot of anti-poisons for that task dude it is crazy to think that it's been six years since i locked myself to mauritania swampletics was six years ago man that is insane to think about so it's time to do priest in peril and head back to the homeland there's a lot of stuff to do in that area i i don't even think i'll be able to unpack it all in a single episode but these monks of zamorak are the only th real thing that can end my account during this quest and after that we're pretty much home free a temple guardian obliterated not sure why he showed up today didn't stand a chance okay to make sure we do this right we just have to be patient and precise make sure we find the level 30 zami monk now 
I do want him to keep a distance. I'm literally just going to be doing this. I tag him once I go up the stairs and he de-aggros every time I do this. So it is kind of hard to keep track of which one I hit, but as long as I'm hitting one of them, I'm keeping my distance. Now the thing is, their magic attack still has only one tile of range, so they do have to be close to use it. I mean, look, it's just better that we're super, super safe at this point because, look man, this account is so precious to me. I am not taking any chances. Okay, I think I have tagged both of these guys like four separate times. One of these times they will die. There we go, golden key. That is the only risky part of the quest. That really was the whole thing. It's it's not that big of a deal, but I am glad I, I got those two combat levels. Either way, made me feel a lot safer here. Okay, one last rune essence delivery, and we are all done here. Priest in peril complete, 1400 prayer XP is nice, and Mauritania unlocked more importantly than anything. While we're here, I'm gonna start a quest that I don't think I'll ever be able to finish. I mean, there's a chance, but it's not great. Unfortunately, not being able to finish it is one of the most devastating content lockouts on this account. The quest is Nature Spirit. Mauritania is essentially a radiation zone, and that's because of a little known mechanic called Swamp Decay. Once you enter this gate, a timer starts ticking down. After two minutes, you'll be hit with unavoidable damage, swamp decay. This means any trips into the swamp are quite literally a ticking time bomb. I mean, I want to do barrows on this account eventually. That complicates things. If that wasn't bad enough to complete nature's spirit, I'd have to successfully cross the grotto bridge three times. And that is the true bottleneck. I would need to get 99 agility to reach a 98.8% success rate on the bridge, which sucks because you need nature spirit for so many different quests in the game. But most importantly of all, you need it for fairy rings. The holy grail of Iron Man transportation is locked behind hopping this bridge three times not to mention Swamp Decay. Mauritania is as deadly as ever on this account, and I will be back to conquer that swamp. There's a lot of things we can do there. But for now, my sights are set on the accumulator. It's time to get some big upgrades, make some big moves on Nightmare Mode. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.